Five, a warning from auto shops. Catalytic converters are being stolen left and right, and owners are having to wait weeks to get a replacement, and that means their car or truck can't be driven until that replacement is installed. As NBC4's Tony Shin now reports, these thieves are so bold, they're targeting cars in broad daylight and in crowded parking lots. There's four guys, two of them are underneath cutting, uh, one guy look out, one guy driving. We are not revealing Danny's last name for safety reasons. He's talking about the four men who tried to steal his teenage son's catalytic converter last Friday. His son's Toyota Sequoia was parked near this in and out in San Bernardino in broad daylight when a witness heard the sound of a saw cutting metal. So he took pictures and confronted the men. Danny says one had a bat. The guy with the bat, I guess, kind of motioned towards him, told him to get out of here. Fortunately, the thieves didn't get away with a catalytic converter, but many others have had great success in stealing them and selling them for hundreds of dollars. You look inside, it's got that honeycomb, yeah. and that honeycomb is precious metals. Top Dog Auto Repair Manager Warren Valenson says, Catalytic converter thefts are happening so often, victims are having to wait days, even weeks, to get a replacement, and they are not cheap, costing upwards of $3,000. There's so many of them stolen. I went out and bought a welder and taught myself to weld to replace them so that I can do them in house without having to send them out because driving a car without an exhaust system on it's really dangerous. Warren says newer vehicles are big targets, including Priuses, but also high-profile vehicles like this one because they're easy to get underneath. They'll steal them in front of a bank, they'll steal them at a grocery store, in your driveway. This is surveillance video provided by Danny's co-worker in Chino Hills. He was able to scare away the thieves who were trying to take his catalytic converter last fall. Danny says another co-worker was also recently targeted, which is why he's hoping others will do their part if they witness a crime happening. Take pictures, uh, try to get license plate numbers, anything you can get out there. Tony Shin, NBC4 News.